Ever since the attempted murder of a student on a Prince George's County school bus last May, union leaders representing bus drivers have been aggressively pushing for safety changes. They say student behavior only seems to be getting worse. I can't tell you the numerous times bus drivers have reported kids on the buses smoking, drinking, or having sex. The head of the union, as well as a driver, told the county school board last night that safety needs to be improved right now to include security at bus lots and hiring 228 more drivers. How long are we going to say we're working on it? We are too wide open where they just drive up, drive up gingerly on the bus lots, approaching drivers, ready to fight and assault and do God knows what else. The meeting happened a day after a student was arrested for allegedly bringing this loaded gun into Fairmont Heights High School. We don't know if he rode a bus to school. According to charging documents, the gun was in the student's waistband. A security officer got it after a struggle. There was a fully loaded 30-round magazine and two bags of weed. According to those charging documents, the student's parent told the school she didn't know that he had a gun. Now, a check through Maryland's gun center shows it was reported lost in March of this year. Last week, a 16-year-old Duval High School student was shot and killed while walking home. A 17-year-old student from another school has been charged with her murder. PGCPS points to the planned installation of metal detectors at all high schools. Six of them have them so far and a clear backpack mandate for high school students. We will continue to exercise every means possible to ensure safe learning environments. And we ask parents, guardians and our community to join us in this collective effort. Students, teachers, bus drivers, all demanding more to be done to make them safe. In Prince George's County, Darcy Spencer, News 4. A school spokesperson also said the new superintendent is conducting a transportation audit to determine what can be done to improve safety and driver recruitment.